I think part of it though, is just like the, the gradually, but then all at once or, or um, slowly, but then suddenly, I think is mm -hmm. another one like the Unchained guys use. Um, the, the idea really comes down to um, what are the accelerants and at some point, do you hit a point of no return, right? Like I, I call it like burning the boats, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, the whole idea of burning the boats is uh, when you go and you find new land, you know, back in the day, uh, you're not actually committed to staying until you burn the boats. When you Perfect. burn the boats, like you can't go back, right? Yeah. Uh, so when do we get to that point? Well, here we are burning the boats right now. I think COVID was an example of burning the boats, right? It's, um, you know, we, we just burnt the, um, you know, the the interest rate boat. Um, then we burnt the QE infinity boat. So, so those two boats are burnt now. Uh, what else is it? Like the, the, the number of boats that are available to burn to, to basically discredit the existing system, um, uh, you know, are becoming less and less numerous. I mean, I always say COVID was the, one of the best um, marketing campaigns for Bitcoin um, in history, because like the, the, these are the events the I just remember what I was going to, the analogy I was going to use earlier was um, the smartphone analogy. Like we can all remember a time before smartphones, like when we all had flip phones or the shitty Nokia banana phones and all that sort of stuff. We remember the dumb phones and we remember when that was ubiquitous. And we also remember when, you know, modern times now, like when smartphones are completely ubiquitous, but that transition period, I can't exactly remember that. I don't really, I'm not really clear on when we had like a real good mix of smartphones and dumb phones at the same time. Like that, hap that phase shift like happened so quickly. And I think, you know, we, we, we're obviously not at that point yet with Bitcoin, but I think over the next decade, um, the, the question is going to shift from, you know, people asking today is like, why the hell would you have Bitcoin to sometime in the next decade, the question will be, why the hell don't you have Bitcoin? Like, so, so that strange look, like the, the, the question will change. And um, I mean, maybe, maybe the trigger is going to be something as crazy as um, a other friend of mine is another Bitcoiner in Australia, Haas McCook. Um, he, he put a tweet out a little while ago saying, my prediction for next year is uh, 40,000 in the Dow and 40% unemployment. Um, and that, that to me, like, I mean, as crazy as that sounds, like what we're seeing right now with these supposed solutions to the COVID problem is, you know, all this printing of money, bailing out of the big boys and all this sort of stuff is we're actually tearing society apart. Um, and where, you know, we, we have this illusion of prosperity in the stock market, you know, basically the NASDAQ's almost back at all time highs. I mean, Shopify's blown through its highs. Amazon's blown through its highs. Tesla's basically back at highs. Um, you know, Uber and Lyft are back at, you know, beyond their December price. It's, it's such insanity. But at the same time, we've got almost 30% unemployment in the US. Nobody's working. Everyone's at home. And, you know, everyone's living on a $1,200, um, you know, handout. It's like it's so, Main Street and Wall Street are completely diverging. It's madness. And, um, and maybe, maybe that's what triggers people to say, you know, I've had enough, 